Jay Prince is looking for the guy in the yellow shirt, man, because they actually know him in Houston. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this video and comment down below. Let me know if you're a fan of Migos and send your condolences and let me know where y'all from. Let's get right into it. So Jay Prince and them, pretty much everybody that was at that party in Houston, downtown, they know the guy in the yellow shirt. And that's due to the fact that they actually came with him. That guy in the yellow shirt, he's the same dude that was in the black tank top of the Duke the Jeweler dice game. So this dude is known to pop out. He likes popping out for the dice games. They know the the, the move, the play that they need, need to run at the dice game. It's all basically right in front of our faces, how they try to, um, you know, pretty much finesse Quavo for the money. And then they try to have him run it back. They wouldn't let him, they wouldn't let him play for it again or whatever. So it is still a petty argument, but it started with the dice game. But what y'all need to pay attention to is the fact that when the whole commotion started off, the dude in the yellow shirt actually pulled up and upped on, on takeoff. And he tried to do something with the chain. He tried to let off something first because everybody's trying to figure out who pulled it first. Who was the one that made that first pop noise? And it wasn't uh, Migo's manager, allegedly. Now, we don't know that for sure, but... When we watched the replay, everybody watched the slow motion replay. And when Jay Prince watched the slow motion replay, he said that that guy in the yellow uh, sweatshirt, he can't hide behind them. They, he came out and he said the comment, he said, the guys who did this cannot hide behind Houston. The guy cannot hide behind Mob Ties or Jay Prince's name or anything. So then explain to me, why is it that when everybody ran off, how come he got away? And that, you know, the people that helped him get away, they know where he is. They know where he went. Like, is he the dude is part of y'all's crew in, in, in Houston and stuff, like Mob Ties and all that, right? If dude is in that same dice game from before, he's definitely clicked up with them, all right? It's safe to say that. And if he's clip, clicked up with them, then after everything went off and when they all ran down the stairs, where did the dude go? Somebody obviously drove him home. Somebody gave him a ride. So it's really people out here who, who actually, after the fact, helped the dude to get away. And so there's a getaway driver. There's a whole lot of stuff. So people are going to start talking now. Once they put that reward out there, they're going to offer about 50K, maybe even uh, 60, 80K for, uh, you know, information leading up or whatever. So people are going to start telling now in Houston, you already know all them, every single one of them girls could use a bag, could use a check right now. And so, you know, that's why a lot of them actually already came out and gave the anonymous tip. They went into HPD because they really trying to tell on everything to get the money, but they don't really care if anything is solved. That's the crazy thing is that they were so quick to go and 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 say what they saw, but then they don't want to say, um, you know, whether who they saw, like which guy was the one that did it first, which guy actually pulled something out of his pocket. Like they were like, oh, I was standing right there. I seen it happen. Uh, feel bad for me. Feel bad for me. That's what they were posting. All these girls. And then when whenever the people started asking him, OK, then if you say you were standing right there and you saw everything happen, then tell us what happened. Who did who was the guy? Which guy did it first? And then that's when they're like, no, nah, that's none of my business. Da, 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 da. So people will switch up so quick. Don't forget. And the only reason that they will speak up and like try to help to solve or get justice for Duke is because they're trying to actually get that reward money. So it's really the the. The money is the motivation behind a lot of stuff, including the fact on why the argument even started is because they were arguing over money that was going to be gambled again so that one person can get a chance to get it back. It was either that or that um, they probably finessed him on the price of having the security out there. And so if he didn't want to pay to have the security protection, maybe they added it into the tab or maybe that um, the fact that. He probably had to pay like a hefty, you know, they had to pay a fee to be riding with them, to be uh, protected and not happen up until that point. But he, Quavo probably thought that he was able to win all that money back for the security to pay the security in the dice game. And maybe it went wrong and then he lost in the dice game, lost that money. And then now at the end of the night, they also ask him to pay for the security and at, that could have triggered him to, you know, 
be like, hey, why didn't you let me play uh, play you back for that dice game bread that I could just I could have won that and used to pay you for the security. But they know that that's a that's an advantage on Quavo's side. So they didn't want to let that happen. They basically were like kind of greedy with the thing. They should have never had a dice game because now it's a bad look. Now that's two dice games or something that happened and somebody got hit and all comes back to Jay Prince Jr. because the dude was there. You can't get out of that. Jay Prince Jr. was there. Everybody seen him. Even his dad seen him wearing that big JR chain. And now that's like people are trying to get that because they understand that, okay, look, it's too many times that the same people have been at these same places all together with the same dude with the yellow hoodies, the black tank top, Jay Prince Jr. with the same chain, the same hat that he always wears that says MT. And then you got all the people who... Uh, are really just like they're recording at the right place. It's too many people, man. It's almost as if they done set the man up or something like that. But, you know, we don't know who's calling the shots because everything is pretty much a ledger right now. But the fact that that they're they're actually they got the yellow hoodie guy, but nobody want to say where he went. They actually hide in him. He's probably eating food right now in somebody's kitchen or like he could be chilling with with uh one of Jay Prince's people, Jay Prince Jr.'s people. Like he could be chilling with them. You never know because at the end of the day, that dude in the yellow hoodie pulled up to that dice game, to that party, private party and everything. He came with Jay Prince Jr.'s click because he wouldn't have been invited if he wasn't part of that click. And so when everything happened and they all ran off, all 40 people ran off, that dude probably got back into the same whip that he came in with whoever that rode with him, which is all people who are clicked up with J. Prince Jr. because they all wouldn't be at that party if they weren't part of the crew. It was it was said in the invite in the flyers that it was you had to have the invitation and it was basically where you got picked to come because you were part of the whole crew. And so now that is multiple dice games happening, which you're not even supposed to be doing dice games, actually, like the only people who could be doing dice games is when you go to a casino, like big resorts, big casino hotels. That's the only place that dice games are actually legitimately like, OK, where they're not going to bust it up or anything. Yeah, exactly. So now if they look into that too much, they're going to try to probably even get mob ties on the dice game stuff, saying that they gathered people to do this and do that or, op, you know, without a light, everything, because now they have to basically look at it like, OK, you guys, uh, they looking at Houston like, hey, this is a bad look for you guys. Somebody's got to do something, man. They're going to have to show and make an example out of somebody. We really never know, man. And I wish nothing. I wish none of this would have happened because then we could have all been trying to push the peace and just move on. But they escalated it, man, all because some dude wanted to have a birthday party with a dice game, man. Look at that. The dude didn't even stay around like the guy who had the birthday. He went home. That's kind of weird, too. The fact that you throw a birthday party and you the first one to leave. Ain't that weird? So uh, I'm thinking maybe he went home with a girl, maybe this or maybe that. But like, you know, that his alibi, he said that he was sleeping in bed. He didn't say he woke up with his girl or anything like that. He just said he was pretty much, you know, he didn't make it seem like he was with anybody. So he made it seem like as if he just went home alone and then just went to sleep as because he was just tired on his birthday. That one day that you would probably normally would stay up all night and party and be there at that dice game or be there when that uh, party was closed and off at two and that everybody stepped outside. All 40 people standing outside and the security didn't say nothing when this venue supposed to be closed. They got paid security out there. So you know how there's too many red flags going on. There's too many things. But this whole thing is a pretty much an ongoing situation. They still looking for the dude, uh, I mean, look, the Migos managed, somebody got hit too from one of them. They saying that it was an assistant. So Migos assistant, he like, they, they asking him a bunch of questions right now. They probably got him cuffed to the gurney and on the IVs and everything like that. So they, they, they're trying to figure it out. They're going to piece every single thing together. And, you know, they didn't do it in no first 48. So it's like, hopefully that one dude in the yellow hoodie didn't just skirt off and just take off uh, like somewhere else you know what i mean so 
basically, man, they gotta, uh, they're gonna still figure this out, but it's gonna be a lot of updates coming out. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel because I'm gonna be coming out with some big, big breaking news about the situation. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you already not. Uh, comment down below. Let me know if you a fan. Um, and then, you know, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video.